there. Oh, okay. No, it's still sunset. What was it? Ah, uh, yeah, it is a fair okay. Well, maybe. I suggested to Rory that we needed to reconnect with Bastion, as Harold would almost certainly want to know about the new mutant variants which we'd gotten wind of. Also, it would feel good to stretch the legs again and see what else this past storm had done to the lands. Rory, however, was annoyed by a note which had been left attached to his house. Well, someone left a note on my house and it either said Jose house or whose house. What? Let me see. Yeah, I know, right? I have to find a note. Come on. Show me. Here you go. Jose House. What? Well, the thing is, OOC. J is right beside H, and I'm assuming it's someone that doesn't know how to spell who's. Okay. Huh. Because I don't know anyone named fucking Jose, and I'm certainly sure it's certainly not him. When you were asleep, I went on a little jaunt, you know, I went on a little little exploration run out uh, east. Yeah. And I came across uh, a little little young lady with a soft voice and a terrifying mask coming out of her home. Her apartment startled the crap out of me because I was trying to go in. Oh, really? <laughs> and, yeah. And, uh, yeah, but it was uh, May. May, a uh, girl from the uh, Starter Island a long time ago. What's your name, ma'am? May? How about you guys? May? That's a beautiful name. I'm, uh... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh! You mean... Oh, that? The one we met? And she met Dex and... and oh, you mean... Ha! Huh. You met her? Yep. Turns out, uh... She's an arbiter. Good lord. Oh, she's a fucking arbiter? <laughs> yeah. So that was a thing, but you know, she she was nice enough and uh yeah. She yeah. had the opportunity to rob me, but she did not. So she's I don't think I don't trust an arbiter, but you know, she she seemed pretty cool. Interesting. Well, does this mean that they're branching out to like from purgatory? No, it's possible. She did confirm that they still live there and that they got some sort of big structure there now, but uh, as far as I'm aware, I think that was just her home or maybe it's just, a, you know, some kind of an outpost or something. I'm just... I'm just watching. Or I'm just looking at this uh, little drawing here of mom, dad, and me. It just makes me think of that Dex, you know. You're lingering in the past. I know. Let's... Yeah. Um, let's go check some of the southern houses before we leave this peninsula, alright? It didn't take long before we spotted a couple of survivors heading in the other direction. Down the road. Who are they looking at? See us staring at him eventually. Yo guys. Yo there. What's up? Yo. Yo. Where are you guys from? <laughs> We're from the uh We're from nearby. From yeah, from nearby. No, but we know those guys. They're good guys. What's your names? I'm a Somebody. I'm a Alright. You know Antonio by chance. Wait, what did you say your fucking name was? I'm Jose. 
Jose, did you put a note on my goddamn house saying Jose's house? <laughs> no. Well, someone left a note on my house saying Jose's house. Apparently, it all boiled down to a simple misunderstanding. Somebody had removed the note from Jose's old house at New Duskar and slapped it on the side of Rory's residence in passing. Jose was apparently an ex-resident of New Duskar and had recently left the settlement. From what we could tell, there seemed to be some friction between him and the New Duskar leadership. Man, no hard are you going to no New Duskar? Are, yeah, yeah. No. We expel from there and... And we are literally in difficult um, relationship with the uh, headquarters of Dusk. Uh, why, why are you in a difficult relationship? Ah, uh, because I am immune to the attack, throw a grenade on the mutant, and two guys be there, and all oh, that shit and that. Oh, it was an accident. It happened. Yeah, this thing yeah, happened. Yes, and because of that accident, Daskar um, literally broke my town, stole my stuff, and um, they kicked you uh, out. Requesting for me to give to give uh, to give 500 nails, or I going to die. For an in accident. In that town, you guys. Yes, in that town, you guys live in. See you guys. See you later. All right, take care. That was weird. Move on. New rules, I guess. Tough world. My fucking house. <laughs> I but I like really. Did they really, like, find them 500 nails because he made a mistake? Not sure. That feels... strange. It doesn't sound like a tilted story. Probably, yeah. So help me God, if I get home and someone kicked in my door, I am gonna hunt that little man down. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, very nice, very nice. Sure. Jesus, I haven't been this far down south since we moved. Hey, Rory? Uh, yo, what's up? You know what the fuck happened to Asheville? The complete the place is completely blown off the map. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, I thought it was something like the uh, you know they they raised it to the ground when the infected started taking over. Yeah, I suspected something, but look at this place. Jesus. Yep, this is as much of a ghost town as a to town can be. Huh. Looks like the bim buildings are like all bombed out and stuff. I'm suspecting like they that they try to contain like the contamination so that they rounded up people here. This is just conjecture on my part, but like I'm yeah, I assume well, I mean, that was my impression as well. Yeah. In the north suburbs of Stonington, we came across something that caught my attention. Oh, it looks like... Are those notes? Let's check it out. Huh. Salvation. Food, shelter, hope. Oh, well, they're awfully optimistic. It sounds kind of familiar. And they've stolen our frequency. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Interesting. Uh, we'll have to look that up. Um, we know where to look. Oh well. Alright. And this one. Let's see. Oh my. Huh. Here. <laughs> that looks awful familiar. It sure does. 
unoriginal as fuck. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, well... I guess there's copycats in every layer of society. I mean, look at the, look at the text and the lettering, come on, they're trying so hard to be edgy. <laughs> I know. The more things changed, the more they stay the same. Locations and names might vary, but seemingly there would always be pathfinders in the world. These disciples might even be people who were directly inspired by them, and hence the name. We didn't know, and quite frankly, we didn't want to know. Sandy Bay was apparently the new Cushville. Fine. We had other things on our minds. I mean, come on, like what? Did they hold the note horizontal or uh, fucking vertical as they were, you know, writing it with an inkwell of blood? Like, come on, you, why would you be writing it against the wall? Just, and and how did they how they get the ink? Did they use it in a pen? <laughs> oh, did they use a quill? Wow, you're you're taking it personally. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no goddamn originality. You know, it's just they're trying so hard. Come on. You can tell they're kids. Yeah. They gotta be kids. Some punk ass dude. Maybe like a just, feral yeah. tribe of kids, you know. Uh, well, say what you will about the Pathfinders. They had good calligraphy. <laughs> Badoom. Uh What are you doing? I'm trying to get into the tire well. You leave me alone, and what am I supposed to do to entertain myself? Fuck. Don't ask questions. Oh, I found this press press. We had rarely spoken about it, but Rory had been dropped on his head once or twice during his infancy. It would rarely show, but when it did, it could appear in the most... interesting ways. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. We have a mission, you know. My mission was to curl up in that tire well like a cat in a box. We stopped by an old abandoned chapel to rest up a little and have some rations. As I came back from having water down the trees, I found Rory busy listening intently to his radio. <laughs> what? New Duskar was just attacked, it seems. What? By mutants? Yep. Uh, no, no, someone popped Arthur. It was, uh, well, it seems to have been, uh, Jose. <laughs> Wait, Jose that we. Wh what? The guy that we passed. Well, he did, I mean, he, they broke his thumbs or whatever, you know, he said. I don't, I don't remember, but yeah, he definitely had motivation. Oh. But it does seem like that. They're talking about it. Yep. Fucking all over the, all over the comms, man. Someone popped Arthur. Blood, you know, they're they're going to Cushville with a hatchet. Apparently, that's where they're uh, where Jose's based from. But has this like been confirmed that it was them? That's what they are saying. They said it was the. Well, there's two guys that attacked. One ran, one died. And they say that the one who ran was Jose. Or that's at least what I'm extrapolating from this. Jose? So, Jose had chosen to stir up a hornet's nest. I wasn't sure about whether his motivation for revenge was fabricated or not, but whatever had gone down had sent New Duskar on the warpath, and an entire company of their arms militant security force was heading down south to deal with Cushville which apparently had been taken over by Jose himself. Yeah, always fucking Cushville. That place was a veritable magnet for people with an aggressive streak. Give me, give me just a moment, I'm gonna check again to see what... Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> Antonio chipped in. Apparently, Jose robbed Antonio. Antonio was another guy we'd met when we were new to the peninsula. We'd met him while looking for supplies, and he'd seemed like an all-round nice guy. Now, it seemed like he had run afoul of Jose, too. He got robbed by Jose? Yeah. Interesting. 
Alright. Well, we're nowhere near there now, so... Let's just go on with our mission and try to find Bastion. Oh, but if we go, we might catch the fireworks. <laughs> I want to catch the fireworks. Yeah. I know you love fireworks. Let's go to Bastion first and see what they have to say. Or, like, see if Cory's there. That is interesting, though. It seems like there's always going to be beef between humans. Like, even in the post-apocalyptic shithole. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, sure. It's ridiculous, really. Yeah. Why can't people just get along? I mean, I know it's a cliche, but still, like... Everybody just have to have something to bitch about. Well, so long as there are people, there's gonna be, you know, drama. Yeah. And then you have those mind-fucked crazies, like that fucking warlock. Yeah. Soon, we'd find ourselves once again on the turf of Bastion. Or so we thought. I said it before, and I said it again, you can fit the whole population behind those walls comfortably as a community. Yeah. See? Not that that'd be a good idea, there's always gonna be fuckheads oh. that wanna mess everything hold up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Awesome. They find- finally I've spotted their flag. I don't know when I... What the fuck? Uh... That's not the Bastion flag. A new flag? Instead of the blue and white of Bastion, we saw that a decidedly purple banner had replaced it. This was unexpected and irregular. Personally, I got a bad feeling. Harold had felt like a mentor to a degree, and Corey had been a good friend from the start. Losing Bastion would be bad for us. We had no intel on this new group, but something Harold told me about how Bastion had started by separating from Jamestown was pushing itself forward in my mind. Jamestown was actually the, the name of the, the sell, settlement. Oh, the, ori the original one? Yeah, but we probably don't know, like, about the faction itself. Interesting. Did Bastion just up and leave? Oh, I don't think so. I wonder if they had a fight. And these are like the new conquerors. You know what? We don't know anything about them. Maybe walking up to their gates is a bad idea. Well, I mean, the only intel we got is that the Bastion's in the same place. Yeah. That's what that one dude said. I suppose. Not as fortified as the old. Though. Hello, anybody home? Maybe, maybe I should shout. I heard something. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? What's going on, buddy? Hey there. How hey you doing? What's your name? Yeah, my name is Johnny of Jamestown. What are you guys up to? Johnny. Okay. So, this was Jamestown. Interesting. We needed more information, though. What were their goals? How many were they? And what had happened to Bastion? Yeah, there's lots of people. That... 
All right. Is this still uh, is this still uh, Bastion? No, it's not bad. It's just Jamestown. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. What what happened to Bastion? Uh, Bastion kind of got forced out of here. It's Jamestown to begin with, so like the old owners came back and we kind of took it over. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> Granted, I had no real reason to distrust these people, but something about muscling in and forcing out the current tenant echoed of bad vibes, equal to ones given by a certain group of extortionists we all knew and loved to hate, even if this new group were the previous occupants of the castle. Alright. Um... Uh, you know where Bastion is now? Uh, I'm not sure where Bastion is. Uh, Harold kind of went off the radar because he was on bad term. Ah, okay. Oh. That must have been a great struggle. I mean, fuck, this place is impregnable. <laughs> like, how do you? Even, how would you even take this place? God damn, that's impressive. Right. I gather they didn't go willingly. <laughs> no, no, not at first. But we came to an agreement without violence, so that's good. Oh, okay. Well, that's good at least. So, what what are you guys all about? Like, is this a settlement, or are you like a? This is a faction. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, you guys part of a faction? What's those armbands? Uh, we're we're the Burley family. These are armbands to commemorate our our uh, dear cousin passed away recently. So we're wearing the Sorry. white armbands for his sort of to. Commemorize his innocence. Okay. You guys are poetic. He's a little shit. He's a <laughs> instigating, hyperactive little shit. Innocent. Oh, fuck. That's Rory for you. Masking his sadness with humor. But I knew. How old was he when he uh, passed, if you don't mind? It was, uh, it was 16. Oh, uh, man. Real shame, I'm sorry to hear about. Yeah. Don't! No! It had to be done. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to upset you. Nah, no. No worries. Um, so, uh,. Are you, like, uh, open to any kind of trade or something like that? Uh, I have a trader who currently resides inside the walls. Alright. He goes by the name of Kyle. I'm sure you've heard about him. If not, then uh, you can always come by and see. Yeah, sure, absolutely. I got some, some odds, ends, and trinkets. I got... Okay. Concrete mix and like a hatchet and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. What do you need? Pickaxe. Definitely. Uh. Pick. Not coming here. Are we want? Are we allowed to follow? Yeah. This is this is our common area. Oh. Okay. Cool. All right. Guess we'll have to redraw the maps a little. Rename this Jamestown. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Oh. So, does, uh, does Jamestown have any uh, affiliations or hostilities? I'm not really open to talking about that right now just because I don't know you that's guys fine. too much. No, that's fine. Come around I more often, I, and I get to know you. Then I'll talk. That's yeah, okay. It's fine. We're just just curious, you know, trying to feel you guys out. Been a lot of rumors going around lately, so I'm not trying to add. To that. <laughs> uh, do you want yeah, anything yeah. for uh, for the pickaxe, or is this a gift? I uh, consider it a well for your first time here. Oh my God! Oh, that's very generous of you. Thank you very much. All right. Are you the only one awake right now? Me. I am pretty sure, yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, so what's your aim here? Are you gonna, like, build a huge settlement, or...? 
taking people. Yeah, well, this is basically our settlement. Just, uh, we take anybody that wants to live here, honestly, if they're they're honest and we trust them. All right. I'll, I'll take see. new members almost every day. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So that's this, good. yeah, it's basically just a settlement, but we're also put in motion some stuff. All right. Yeah, I'll let you guys out. <laughs> Alright uh, boys, you safe travels, eh? Nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Um, you sure there's, like, nothing you need? No, I'm, I'm fine, personally. That was my pickaxe. Aw, oh, okay. Thank you. That's very considerate. You, you guys okay, have any, guys. uh, uh Sorry, quick question. You guys have any trouble with mutants around here? Lots, yeah. Stay away from here at night. Oh, okay. What what do you do? Yeah, you know come, anything uh, about those mutants? Like where they where do they come from? How were they created? As far like, as we know, as far as we know, they're being created by a man named Warlock. Warlock, son of a bitch. On these I knew it. Them of course, we already knew this, but it was always good to confirm your intel through multiple sources. Because yeah, Warlock you, is like the hardest man to find on the. Hardest man. Yeah, I got you. You don't have any, like, guesses as to where he would be hiding or anything. I absolutely have no clue. He's the hardest man to find on the island, like I said. I, yeah. I know dog shit about the guy as well, so. Alright. Mutant came last night. Basically threatened us all. That we had to go talk to Warlock or else they'd problem. So, we're not too sure what the fuck we're gonna do. But, if, uh, yeah, be careful keep with your eyes and ears open. Yeah, if you, um, if you ever find out anything, or, you know, just, like, the, the smallest tidbit of information regarding the whereabouts of Warlock, we'd appreciate any, like, you know, heads up. Oh, that, and, like, yeah, as that, long uh, as I get the same in return. Absolutely. Really need yeah. Yeah. Well, here's some info I feel like we should tell you, then. If you get invited to go see Warlock, be careful. Our cousin... Yeah. His death is basically the result of actions taken by Warlock. Oh, yeah. He's a fucking monster. So, yeah, this is personal. If you get any information, let us know, man. I will definitely, man. Warlock actually came right to our castle while we weren't here. Left uh left a big stick with a mutant head on it. One that we killed. Jesus. Warlock Kinda. himself came... War, 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 Warlock himself came here. Yep. And left a note That's for us. That's the first with fucking the, lead I've ever heard of him. With the what? head on a pike. He busted through said, your doors? I don't know how he got in there. It said Warlock sends his regards for Is slaying subject 3-2 or something. I don't know if he's still human. That's the thing, because these mutants... They can jump fucking 90 feet over our walls. It's not sure. They can clips to kill and everything. Warlock either either sent one of his mutants or he came himself and delivered us that message. So. Damn. From what we were hearing, it sounded like Warlock might not even be human anymore. If that was the case, we might have to modify our plans. It was one thing to corner a guy whom Harold was quoted as calling a brilliant but spineless worm. It was quite another thing to go against someone infused with completely unknown mutant abilities. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, oh, we, yeah, we live near New Duskar. We, uh, if they, they came under attack here just a few days ago. Uh, fucking spiders. Exploding spiders! Yeah, exploding, exploding spiders. spiders. And mutant wolves. Fucking zombie dogs and shit. Like, it's getting out of hand, man. You guys gotta take care of yourselves. You guys got a good deal here with this wall, but we live out in the wilderness. Fuck. We hear that shit all the time, and it's we just fucking hide. We hunker down and wait for daylight. Yeah. So, have you seen any of the growths yet? No, we haven't seen the growth yet. We heard tall tell of it, but you like that? Uh, sure. Got one. Now I was intrigued. We'd heard about organic growths appearing wherever mutants had been. It was believed to be sort of a way to taint the area with their presence, kind of like how dogs urinate to mark their territory, but no one knew for sure. 
To us, it had been nothing but idle gossip. At least, up till now. Might want to stay away, it smells really fucking bad. Alright. What the fuck? <gasps> what? Can it be hard? Can it be harmed? No, we've shot it. Tried to blow it up. Tried to take samples of it. It is. Does it do anything if you get too close? I don't know. All I know is it smells like old cat food when you get too close. Oh, the description did not do it justice. What we saw was disgusting enough, but the smell. It reeked of the putrid odor of decaying organic matter. A stench so foul it immediately unsettled my stomach and sent my lunch rocketing out onto the rock surface beneath my feet. One of our feet. guys, they went right up to it, sniffed it real hard, and he had a seizure. And he was oh. out for the night. Fuck. I'm not sure what the fuck it is. I'm freaking it, touch it. <laughs> my hands smelled really good about a week after. Jesus. Oh, well, that's the stuff of nightmares. Let's get the fuck away from this thing. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies and it's almost dark. <laughs> okay. You okay, Robin? I think that just... That just messed with my head and my sinuses. Nasty shit. Yeah, that was disgusting. The mutant said that our our establishment was marked. Mark. Big trouble unless we talk to Warlock. Unless you talk to Warlock. Have you sent anybody to talk to him? Uh, no, we haven't had anybody talk to him because we don't know how the fuck we would. And he had up no clue where. Huh. Neither does anybody else on the island. Be only like two people, but be helping him. So, one more thing I'll tell you though before you go off into the darkness. Uh, if one of these mutants pulls up to you, you should always have blood on you. Fucking, uh, you're a blood bag. Filled with your own blood. Or, uh, just human flesh in general. Yeah. Now we, don't have yeah, we, we knew that word. We knew that word from the old days, but we heard recently that they're not accepting that anymore. Mm. I guess if you offer them something else in the future, I'm not too sure. I've never... I, the only time that we've had them where we didn't accept our gift. So. Well, thank you for this, uh, this mass of information, and uh, we wish you the best of luck with your endeavors here. Yeah, keep your head down off the dark. Come back and say hi when there's more people around, it. Eh? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Alright. Holy fuck. This is more oh, serious than uh, I thought. That's disturbing. Not to mention disgusting. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. It was getting dark, and the news about mutants coming out at night made us pressed for time to find shelter for the night. Where should we go? Anywhere, but here. A big place like this is going to attract all kinds of bad attention that we don't want to deal with. Should we go past Lucas's old castle? Uh, yeah, might as well see what's there. And if anything, we could, you know, take up residence for the night if it's empty, you know. Yeah. And I was thinking, like, you know, maybe you can, you can, maybe you can, like, you know shoot at his castle once more. Just for old time's <laughs> sake. <laughs> so that's that's the Devil's Eye castle, right? The old Ravenhold place? Where Lucas... Yeah, lived. I'm not seeing any flags. Anymore. Remember somebody said that Lucas liked collecting flags? Yeah, he certainly did. Let's 
get in the fucking castle, man. I feel safe in there. Yeah, I've never ever been here before. Like inside. Stay here until until it's uh, dawn, I suppose. Let's go over what we need to do. We need to find Bastion. We need to maybe we should check in with New Duskar when we get home as well. See see if they're okay, like what's happened, and offer our condolences for their killed leader. See what they know about. Oh, him. I don't. I don't. Th I don't know if he died. No, they were working on him. Yeah, he's. Oh. Apparently he's hanging on to life. Okay. Yeah, he got popped, but he's not dead. He's not dead. Alright. I thought I always thought that popped meant, you know, no, shot, I mean, shot, got shot, dead. Got shot. Yeah, no, I, I think he's still alive, yeah. Last I saw in the communi communications he was still he was still kicking. Alright. Okay, that's good, that's yeah. good. They had they had doctors coming in to treat him. I gotcha. Also, might not seem as important in the grand scheme of things, but we really need to get a flagpole going. We talked a little about possible looting rounds for supplies and quarries to mine for rocks. After that, we decided to hit the hay. Alright, well, I suppose we'll say goodbye for now. Good night. Yeah. Take care. Watch out in the dark. Take care, brother, and keep that human flesh handy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't lose it. See you later. <laughs> See you. Good night. Nighty night. Oh, exactly the same time. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. High five. <sighs> Good morning. Huh? I just heard that the arbiters are attacking Duskar. What? I I don't know. Maybe maybe they're killing people at Duskar. That's all. That, that's what I heard. Yeah. There's nothing. No. 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 no other mention. Just arbiters killing people at Duskar. Run. Good. This I don't I don't know the backstory, I don't know that's all I heard. It's weird. Alright. Was this uh over the sack compound? Yeah. Well I wouldn't put it past the arbiters. I mean they might have like Maybe they have, maybe they know. didn't get their payment. I mean yeah, exactly. Something like that. Huh. Alright. Could you verify, like, who said it, or was it just, like, scattered? Oh, no, I, yeah, it's just scattered. I have no idea. Well, this was a bold move, even for the Arbiters. To openly attack a settlement like that usually was the result of some major talks breaking down. Of course, this was unconfirmed intel, and as far as we knew, it could, in all fairness, just be someone stirring shit up. Alright, we'd best stay off the roads then. Better sneak our way back. That might be wise. Especially seeing as how we are. Like, our new location is so close to the Duskar. The new Duskar. Yeah. Ah. Want some pickles? Yeah, yeah, hook me up. Wait, <laughs> there's a dog in my backpack. Oh, shut up, shit. dog. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let me, uh, let me get some of them pickles. Yeah. It's good for you. Always a good thing to check these places. Almost heaven. <laughs> Dear Isle Mate. What? Stonington and. 
the tall wall around purgatory. <laughs> Life is cruel there. <laughs> Despite Rory's torturous singing, we made it home in one piece and went to work on building our new flagpole. It took a while, but eventually it got done. We decided to fence it in as well, just in case. There we go. Oh, nice. You can't actually... Oh, yeah, you can. You can. Alright. Well, I got planks at least. Um, I can fill this. Seat. I can fill it, fill it up. Or fill... Fill up the frames. The next few days would see time pass without any larger incidents or encounters. But one day, I'd found something. It was another note, again having been stapled onto the side of Rory's house. This note claimed that a group called the Collectors were going to press Rory for money. Yo, bro! You awake? Yeah, I'm up. What's up? You had your breakfast yet? In process. Alright. Well, chow down and then meet me outside. Hey man. Hey. Uh, one question. Have you seen that? No, I have not seen. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Have you seen this? Yeah, I was by here yesterday. You were asleep as usual. This is sounding oddly familiar. Probably more punk ass copycats. Yeah, however, I was thinking we are living right on the doorstep of New Duskar. I want to just make sure that, you know, these are not like anything. Like, this is not something that's been sanctioned by them. Because we honestly, we haven't met with their leadership yet. We don't know their practices and their, like, rules. You know, if they're, like, bo bossing this land these lands, you know? Very true. Well, all the same, allow me to formulate a proper response. Oh? There. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. That's my bro. I could tell my brother was tired of having notes left on his house. I was considering putting up some kind of bulletin board for people to use. All of this would actually go well in hand with the plans we had to create Burleyville. <laughs>